Coming up on Look Today, well, authorities are investigating a fatal accident in Lake George that they believe may have been intentional. Our cameras are on the scene. Plus, the search for a missing man in Horicon continues. I've got the latest. And Warren County EDC President Ed Bartholomew is here. He's going to discuss economic development throughout Warren County. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone and happy Friday. I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. Well, in tonight's program, we interview Warren County EDC President Ed Bartholomew about economic development throughout the county in 2016. And I interview Executive Director of the Lake George Land Conservancy, Jamie Brown, about keeping land protected. Plus, your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, a car accident in Lake George this morning has left one man dead. Christopher Eddy was transported to Glens Falls Hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. Police believe that the accident could have been intentional. Now, through witness reports, police say that the driver of a silver Chevrolet and a pedestrian were arguing just before the accident. Witnesses say the man backed his car up, the pedestrian jumped on the hood before being run over. One of the witnesses, a construction worker at a nearby site, said that the two seemed to be intoxicated and may have been fighting over a woman. One of the witnesses, Kevin Hendrickson, talked to Look Today about trying to help Eddie. Jacked the car up and got the car off him and so EMTs could pull him out from underneath the car. Now Warren County Sheriff Bud York and numerous investigators were on the scene of the accident. Now, this is the second major case that the sheriff's office has handled in less than two weeks. A murder-suicide in Bolton is still under investigation. Well, changing from news to weather, after a windy day yesterday, the sun was out across the region today. Beautiful day. Well, how's the weekend shaping up? Well, for the latest, we're going to head to our Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Well, back to the news, and the latest on a story, a story we've been covering all week. The search for an 82-year-old man, Thomas Mesick, continues in the town of Horicon. Now, we reported earlier this week, Mesick was hunting with a group of friends when he failed to show up at their meeting spot. Well, since Sunday afternoon, authorities and volunteers have searched for Mesick through the cold and rainy weather. Now, look today, spoke with Forest Ranger Rick Schroeder about the search. It is. It's slower. Um, you know, obviously, there are some of the areas are extremely wet to start with, and then the rain adds to it. So, uh, it, yes, it does kind of it slows the search efforts down uh, somewhat, but uh, it does not deter us. The DEC plans to coordinate searches throughout the weekend and is asking anyone with training in basic wilderness search skills to attend a briefing at the Horicon Fire Department tomorrow morning. And we will continue to update you on this story as information becomes available. We'll also on the news. Shelters of Saratoga was a recipient of over 50 hand-stitched hats from the Living Resources Day program. The hats will be distributed to those in need to stay warm this winter. Now, Shelters of Saratoga offers residency and a helping hand to those in need. Look Today spoke with Shelters of Saratoga's Director of Marketing and Development, Cindy Harrington, about the donation and the upcoming winter. And, um, this is something that they will definitely need when they're out braving these you know, certainly difficult months ahead. Living Resources provides services to individuals with a broad range of disabilities, and the hat donation was part of their community service project. Well, still to come, Warren County EDC President Ed Bartholomew is here. He's going to discuss economic development in Glens Falls and Warren County in 2016. Plus, Lake George Land Conservancy Executive Director Jamie Brown is here, and he's going to discuss land conservation. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea, or join us for an interview, give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. 